the given question is find the number of lines of symmetry in each of the following shapes how will you check your answers here they were given some shapes and they have asked us they have asked us to find the number of lines of symmetry in each of the following shapes let's define the symmetry first as per the definition we know we know that if a figure has line symmetry if a line can be drawn dividing the figure into two identical parts this line is called line of symmetry here they have clearly mentioned that if a line can be drawn dividing the figure into two identical parts let's draw a line for this to check out whether this object has line of symmetry or not here a horizontal line is dividing the object into two identical parts that is the object above the line is same as the object below the line hence it is the mirror image therefore this line is considered as the line of symmetry and if we see for all other sides we get four lines of symmetry for each line of symmetry the line is dividing the figure into two identical parts therefore this object has four lines of symmetry now if we see the second object it has only one line of symmetry dividing the object vertically if we divide this object vertically by a line the object is shaped identically hence it has only one line of symmetry seeing c bit dividing this object through a line it has two lines of symmetry as for each line the object is divided and it has identical paths hence this object has two lines of symmetry and now we see the d bit considering this object we shall draw the lines and see drawing a line horizontally divides the object identi with identical paths hence this is considered as line of symmetry and if we draw vertically it also divides the path this object identically hence it is also considered as line is line of symmetry and if we see through other sides the two other sides also divide the object identically hence this object has four lines of symmetry if you see e bit here is a butterfly and it can be divided only vertically to make it identical therefore it has one line of symmetry seeing f bit dividing this shape horizontally it is identical hence it has one line of symmetry and if we divide it vertically it is identical hence it has two lines of symmetry that is one in vertical and one in horizontal therefore it has two lines of symmetry that is l1 on horizontal and l2 vertically the given question is copy the following drawing on a squared paper complete each one of them such that the resulting figure has two dotted lines as two lines of symmetry here they were given as some dotted lines and a part of the figure and they told us that the given information is the two dotted lines as two lines of symmetry here in the question they have given us the 
lines of symmetry and a part of the closed figure and they have asked us to draw the remaining part of the figure such that the dotted lines will be the two lines of symmetry. So taking the horizontal line first, we have half of the object. Let's reflect this to the upper side. So we get, so we get as follows. Here the object below the horizontal line is same as the above the horizontal line. So now we have the half of the object on the vertical side. So let's reflect this total object to the before side of the vertical line. So that we get the object as, so we get the object as follows. If you see here, we have a closed figure which is horizontally symmetrical and vertically symmetrical. Hence this is the closed object which we get through which the figure has two dotted lines as two lines of symmetry. Now moving on to the next bit. Here we have another diagram, the closed figure. Here is the half part of the figure and these are the two dotted lines of symmetry. And now we have to draw. Let's take the horizontal line and taking the figure, we shall draw its mirror image below. By drawing it we get as follows. Now we have the half of the part for the vertical line and we shall take its mirror image to the right side of the vertical line so that we get the object as as follows. Now if we see the total figure, the horizontal line and the vertical line acts as the line of symmetry for this object as these two lines divide this object identically. And if you see the C bit, here is the half part of the object and here are the two dotted lines. These are the lines of symmetry. So taking the part, taking the horizontal line of axis, we shall draw its mirror image. The given question is copy the following drawing on squared paper, complete each one of them such that the resulting figure has two dotted lines as two lines of symmetry. Here they were given as a object, a closed figure and here the two dotted lines were taken as two lines of symmetry. They have given us a part of the closed figure and asked us to fill the figure in this squared paper such that these two lines should be the two lines of symmetry for that object. Taking this half part of the object along the vertical line, let's reflect this object that is taking the mirror, mirror image of this object onto this side, onto the right side, we get as follows. Now we have half of the closed figure. Taking the horizontal line, let's reflect this half part of the object to the above of the horizontal line so that we get the closed figure as we get the figure as follows. If we see the dotted lines now through the vertical line and through the through the vertical line and through the horizontal line the object is symmetrical. Hence this is a closed object. Seeing the next bit E bit here is the part of the closed figure and we have the two dotted lines. Taking the vertical line of axis, we shall draw this mirror image below so that we get as follows. And now as we have the half of the part of the closed figure, we shall reflect it on the other side that is left side. Taking the mirror, mirror image of this object we get the total figure as total figure as follows. Now if we fold this figure through horizontal or through vertical, we get the figure identically such that these two lines divide the object identically. 
Hence, these two lines are considered as line of symmetry by making the closed figure. Now, moving on to the F bit. Here is the part of the closed figure and the two dotted lines were given. Taking the vertical line of axis, let's draw this mirror image to the right side. So that we get, we get its mirror image as follows. And now we have the half of the image and as the horizontal dotted line is the line of symmetry, we shall reflect this half object to the above of the horizontal line so that we get the image as we get the total image as follows. Now if we see to the horizontal line the object is symmetry that is the line divides the closed figure identically and through vertical section also it is symmetric in nature. The given question is copy the following drawing on a squared paper complete each one of them such that the resulting figure has two dotted lines as two lines of symmetry. Here instead of dotted lines we have taken two black lines that is one along the horizontal axis and one along the vertical axis. These two are considered as line of symmetry and uh, as they have asked in the question here they have given the half part of a closed figure and asked us to complete the total figure such that these two lines will be axis of symmetry for the total figure. Considering this half closed figure about the vertical line of axis let's draw its mirror image onto the other side. As we know that the symmetry is defined as when the object is divided by a line into two halves such that the two halves should be identical in nature. Considering this first half, half let's draw the symmetrical part that is as it is extended to one unit here we extend it and here is the half part of this closed figure. It is symmetrical in nature. So this total half part of the closed figure is reflected downwards such that it mirror image will be identical in nature. Hence we shall take Considering the total figure, we get the total figure as follows. Now if we observe, if, the, if we divide this total figure horizontally, it is symmetrical in nature and if we divide the total figure vertical through a vertical line of axis, we get symmetrical part. The given question is, in each figure alongside a letter of the alphabet is shown along a vertical line. Take the mirror image of the letter in the given line. Find which letters look the same after reflection. That is, which letter looks the same in the image and which do not. Can you guess why? Try for the letters O, E, M, N, P, H, L, T, S, V, X. If you see in the question, here they were given some letters and asked us to write the mirror image and look whether they were same or not means which is symmetry or not. Let's move on to the solution. Here we have the letter A. If we write its mirror image we get the letter as similar. We get as A. Hence A is symmetrical. If you see B in the mirror image, we get as follows. Hence it is not similar to B. Hence the letter B is not symmetrical. And they were given some letters and to check them 
and asked and asked us to check whether they are symmetrical or not let's take o if we consider o for letter o the mirror image will be same as o hence the letter o is symmetrical in nature now seeing e if we take e in the mirror image we get the mirror image as follows hence e is not as e in its mirror image therefore the letter e is not symmetrical let's see another one it's m if we take the line of the if we take the mirror image for the if we take mirror image for the letter m we get the similar m on the other side hence the letter m is symmetrical now if you see for the letter n the mirror image of n will be the reverse n the mirror image will be reverse n hence the letter n is not symmetrical now if we see the letter p the mirror image of the p will be as follows hence it is also not the symmetrical letter if we see h the h will be symmetrical and l is not symmetrical the letter p and l are not symmetrical whereas the letter h is symmetrical about its mirror image now let's see other letters here if we see the t its mirror image is as same as t where s is not and v is c same as its mirror image and w is also as same as its mirror image hence the letters t v and w are symmetrical about its mirror image where v is unsymmetrical